cryo pods and cryo fridges have been added to Ark Survival Ascended, making it easier to store and manage tames while freeing up some much needed space. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a cryo fridge floor so that you can fit multiple cryo fridges into a compact area, keeping them out of the way and still access all of them. Let's get cracking. I really think as I'm toast bloke and I'm back in Ark Survival Ascended because they finally added cryo pods and cryo fridges back into the game. And I thought you might like to know how to build a cryo fridge floor. So I'm going to show you. Now this build's super simple. All you're going to want for the structure are foundations, ceilings and walls. Then for my little trick, a ladder and a quarter wall and finally the cryo fridges and a generator to power everything. You might also want a sloped roof and a door depending on what you want to do with your build but I'll leave that up to you. Now the first thing we want to do is to get two different foundation heights. One that will be to place the cryo fridges on and one we will build our floor from. Now I recommend getting this as high as you can the first foundation and raising it normally doesn't really do a great job. So instead, I recommend using this little trick where you lower the foundation down to the ground and place it. And then the next one actually gets given two snap points. The same one is the one we've placed. And if we cycle through them, one that is half a wall higher. So just pop that in and straight away, we've got a much higher starting snap point for our foundations. Now, what I'm going to do here is I want to build a two by two cryo fridge floor. So I'm going to sort that out now and just snap these foundations at that higher point so that I know exactly where the center of my floor is going to be. And that is step one complete. Now, from there, we're going to do a little method, a little trick that I've used for my dedicated storage floor and my vault floor. I'll link those in the description below in case you are interested in seeing how I've done those. But this technique is developing every time I use it for something. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a reference point to get the correct height for our next foundation. We also want to be working away from these ones so that the one we're placing doesn't snap to them. Now, the way I do that is I like to get a wall or a quarter wall, depending on the reference point I need. For this one, I need a full wall. And then I like to build out from that with a ceiling. Now, that allows me to work in this area so that I don't have my foundation snap to the ones that are already placed. Now, the thing that I use for a reference needs to be something that other structures don't snap to. And that just so happens to be a railing. So I'm going to snap one to the front underside of the ceiling. And then I'm just going to work my way down. This can be janky, so try and look at the railing you want it to snap to and just work your way down. And you're going to need four for this particular build. Now, we're going to be looking at a point on this railing, and the point is down at the bottom. There's a chunkier part where it gets thicker at the bottom of the leg. I'd call it the foot, maybe. And you'll notice there's a point where it begins to get narrower and goes into the slim part of the leg. Now at that point is the height we want our foundation to be placed. So bear that in mind. To get our foundation all lined up, we're going to snap a ladder to the foundations that we've already placed, like so. We're going to climb on it. Go on, get on, and then hop off. Now once you've done that, you are perfectly aligned to the foundations that are already there. So do not rotate your character. You can walk backwards, you can walk forward, you can strafe right, strafe left, and you can even look up and look down. Just don't rotate your character. If you go and stand in front of the railings and get out your foundation again, here's where the magic happens. I'm going to walk it into the railing, keep it green, and then I'm going to align the outside edges of the foundation with the outside edges of the railing like so. Once you think you've got that in place, jump into orbital cam, K mode if you're on PC, and look at everything from side on. Because what you're gonna want is you're going to want this foundation to be halfway through the railing. So if this is all the way through, this is not through, we're looking for the point in the middle, which is about there. Don't place yet, you want to come out of orbital cam first before clicking fire once to lock the position of the foundation. Now we can change the height by using up and down or looking up and down. So I want us to get to that point I showed you. To do it, I like to go all the way to the bottom and then just gradually raise the foundation until it gets to that point where the legs start narrowing. So it's around there it looks like. When you're happy, 
just place your foundation. And you now have your second snap point for this build. So you can pick up the scaffolding, get rid of that wall, get rid of the ladder, you don't need them anymore. And then we are sorted to continue. Now I want the foundations of this height to be going around the outside of the central ones that are higher. So I'm going to do that now. Just look at the foundation you want it to snap to and everything should be dandy. You do have two other snap points competing, the high one and then the super low one. It won't be everywhere. Just if the ground's low enough, I'm going to slight bank here so it's not showing on this side. Just make sure you're getting the right snap point all the way around and then you can pick up this foundation. That's not needed now. And that is the hard part done. That is the main structure build completed. From there, we want to get the cryo fridges down next. We do that next because structures will clip with them if you place them after, but structures won't clip with them if you put them down first. So we're going to get out the cryo fridges and I recommend snapping them to the center of the foundations. Now you might have wanted to build a bigger cryo floor than this. That is perfectly fine. You'll just need more fridges. But what we're going to do is going to start filling in the areas. Now I like to start in the corner and fill one corner in because that allows me to go across the back like so and then come on to the next row and complete that. And because I've created the snap points, I can just fill in each row at a time. Now make sure you stood back, otherwise you will get red box. And also, you'll probably end up with the incorrect placements or pre-snaps. So just get those in place like so. And once you've oh, missed one, once you've completed your floor, you're going to be ready to start putting down the rest of the structures. But first, let's just have a little look, make sure they're all done and that's looking correct. And there we are. We have our cryo fridges all in position and all at the perfect height for this floor build. Now what I'm going to do next is get the floor that goes up to them down. And the way we do that is we pop walls around the outside edge of the lower foundations. Now on these builds, you can do them on the inside edge too. If you want to hide the structures such as vaults or tech dedicated storage, or in this case, cryo fridges if you want to hide those you can build walls right up against them like so today i might actually do that i haven't in my previous examples but i don't think you can access enough of these from inside to make it worth your while so let's get a wall and let's just put that on the lower foundation and flip it to get a nice clean finish and i'm just going to go around the inside as well there we go it makes these a little bit more protected and just strengthens our structure a little further so there's no harm in it and of course everything looks tidy inside down here now these cryo fridges need to be powered so while i'm in here i'm actually going to grab a generator and you can put this where you want i don't have a lot of room in here because i'm just doing a standalone build you might want more space down here you might want to put a room down here it's up to you you might have beds you might have a workshop whatever but I'm just going to leave that like that today. It keeps this build simple for the purpose. Let me grab the door. This is why you might want one. Like I say, it's optional and just snap that there. And that just protects everything inside. Now I can get in, access the generator. And also if you haven't got those walls there, the cryopods or anything else you've built inside of this build. Now then I need to get on top and we can do this a couple of ways. We can put stairs up or we can put a ladder up. It's however you would like to. In this case, and in all the other cases of these floor builds I've been doing, I've used stairs. So I'm going to use stairs again. So let's just flip this sloped roof into stairs. Looks like I've got to come down too. And that gives me easy access to the top. But you can put ramps around the whole build or a side of the build. Or you can build your war room or crafting station off this. It's up to you really. You do what you want. I'm now going to get ceilings out and finish off the build by snapping them to the outside walls or in this case the inside ones as well we're just going to go around the outside and this puts our floor right up level with the top of the cryo fridges and allows us to walk across them and access all of them on the fly so we can just walk across we don't drop in we don't get stuck in there and we can look down and just get into whatever cryo fridge we need to access and that is why this is such a cool space saving functional build i really do recommend having these i used to use them in the original game quite frequently 
Now then, because this is a standalone build and I'm not building this into a base or crafting station or wall room, I'm going to go around the outside with the railing just to finish this off and make it look pretty, you know? I want it to look good. And I also don't want the guy falling off the edge, you know what I mean? It's dangerous. It's dangerous enough, Ark. Never mind when you've got health and safety hazards. So that is the build there. Like I say, I'm just showing you a simple version. You can make this bigger. You can utilize it in different ways. This is just the skills or the tricks that you need to get the results that you're after. But like I say, that is my cryo fridge floor build and there's not really much else to it which is why i'm going to call that there guys thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this tutorial or found it useful please remember to like subscribe and ring the notification bell i'm super grateful for all the support that i'm getting on the channel it really does have a massive effect and I really appreciate you for it. If you'd like to get more involved with the community, check out the description. We have links in there to Discord, amongst other things. I'll even, like I say, link in similar builds to this down below or any updates that I make to this build. But until next time, you guys take care, and I'll catch you later. Ciao, Rio.